<laughs> Utah 35, Arizona State uh, 21. Utah outscored Arizona State 28 to nothing in the second half. Utah scored on all four of their second half drives, and Arizona State had punt, missed field goal, punt, end of game. Like, this was as efficient as you can possibly get. It was beautiful, beautiful by the Utes. They look like the dominant team in the Pac-12 South. And now you got to start paying attention to their matchup against UCLA. you got to pay attention to their matchup against Oregon. But they are in a position right now where they look like, with Cam Rising, at quarterback, this is the best team in the Pac-12 South. Maybe the best team in the Pac-12. Did you did you watch any of this last night? Watched a lot of it. I'm trying to figure out why did it take them so long to get going. So I think there were some issues. Because this game was uh, 21 to seven for a long time. It it was. I don't. I thought you were talking about just on the season period. No, um, I'm talking about this game. If Cam Rising, why did Cam Rising look like shit in the first half? That's a great question. And I don't I mean, have a good answer. He looked bad. So if he's going to be a fifth, if he's going to be a one half quarterback, that that's great. Sometimes that ain't going to win a lot of games. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. You're not going to get many opportunities where your defense is going to hold somebody to nothing for you to score 28 unanswered. Yeah, that's, uh, that's I, my problem. That's my fear. I thought he looked really good. I thought the second half was amazing. I'm trying to figure out why. Why this offense can't get going earlier than that? Why yeah, well, were they well, like, just completely inept the first half? So Larry said, coaching adjustments. Cam is nervous. It's only his third start. He was nervous at home. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't find the nervousness thing. I will say this: that Arizona State, very physical team, very intimidating team. But I did not think it would take that long for him to get rolling. Like I'll say that I, I did not. I didn't think that it would take that long. But either way. They got it rolling. I mean, they were at home. They they took care of what they needed to take care of. Uh, not not a ton of not a ton of mistakes in the first half. It was just Arizona State was the better football team in the first half. They just couldn't. They just couldn't get first downs. Yeah, They're just three and out, three and out, three and yeah. out, three and out. I mean, offense looked awful. And so this is this sets up well for Utah, uh, and and sets up well for my over eight and a half ticket that I'm holding right now for the season because I thought that thing was dead in hell. But, uh, but Utah looks good thus far. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.